Oh man, so it finally got warm enough for some painting weather. I know you guys up north are probably dying, but I'm dealing with the weather as far as I can't paint if it's too cold, and I'm not going to get a heater or anything like that because really it's not cold long enough for me to do anything like that. So what I want to do now and what I want to do in this video is I want to get the 240SX going. We got to do base coat and clear coat. Right now it's sitting here just primed. It's completely sanded down. I got to remask everything and then get my base coat mixed up and spray it down. <laughs> And now, you're watching the new phone hootis channel of YouTube. Welcome to Boat Vision. So what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Right now, the 240, I got it sitting out in the sun because at night it still gets pretty cold and I want to make sure that surface is around at least 80 degrees would be nice. It's probably not going to be there by the time I'm painting because we're going to have to push it back in the shade. But... That's all right. So what I want to do now is get everything blown out, get the shop cleaned out, make sure that there's as little dust as possible because I want to do everything that I can to make sure that no dust is landing in the base coat or clear coat because I want to make sure the car comes out as good as I can. Man, so we are looking pretty much ready to go. And for this job, I'm gonna be using, for the first time, I'm gonna be using the brand new DeVilbis DV1. I heard this is the gun that DeVilbis brought to SEMA. And this is a step up, or it's a little bit newer than the DeVilbis Techno. So this is what I've been using from DeVilbis. I really like that gun. So for this car, I'm gonna be using the DeVilbis DV1 and also the new 3M cup setup thing. Well, I don't think this is a new setup, but it's new for me. So I'll give you guys a full comprehensive review on how I feel about this gun once I'm using it for a couple weeks. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Man, so overall, I really like that gun. It has a really nice feel to it. I feel like it was a lot easier to clean up. I don't know how I feel yet about the whole new cup mixing setup. Uh, it's a little funny. I gotta get used to it. I can't make any judgment after only using it one time. But man, overall, the paint came out really good. Couple dust specks here and there, but the whole entire car is gonna be wet, sanded, and buffed, so I'm not worried about that. I did three layers of base coat and then three layers of clear coat smashed on top of that, so it's gonna be real easy and real nice to wet sand, and then it should buff out really good. I mean, man, and the jams and everything, look, it looks, looks solid. And this job already has a very minimal orange peel look, so that's just gonna make wet sanding that much easier. And like I was talking about earlier, when I give a whole review about my DeVilbis DV1 setup, I'll also let you guys know at what kind of pressure I'm spraying with, what I use for base coat, what I use for clear coat, and I'll go more in depth on what I use so that way you can get a job like this in your paint jobs if you're interested in that type of stuff.
so overall, Saturday, successful day. I had to race over here so that way I can make sure I can get it done because today is the only day that's gonna be warm for a little while. But man, overall, let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty solid. I mean, reflection is deep. You can see pretty good depth, everything. It looks really good, I'm happy with it. Like I said, we're gonna wet sand it so it's gonna look that much better. And seeing it with the cage and everything, shout out to my blankets that are in there. Winnie the Pooh, what's up? And then I'm sure as the camera's panning along, if you notice real closely and then you see the light in the reflection, every once in a while you can pick up one of those dust specks, but that's just what happens. All cars have that and then you wet sand them out. I've even seen people when they're in a really high-end booth, they still have some kind of issues, but I really can't complain for my conditions. I feel like my stuff usually comes out pretty solid. So the car looks good and man, I kind of wanted to talk with you and say how like I know the uploads have been a little bit slow lately but right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this stuff done that I need to get done and along the way I'm making a video but what I plan on doing real soon in the next week or two because I got to get the 240 done and I got to get it out of there project Pepto I'm going to be ordering a bunch of stuff for the car that's just going to be upload after upload after upload content like crazy me explaining to you what I'm doing going about the car asking you for advice on like what paint color I want to use I'll make that in a different video I got a couple of ideas I really want to know your opinion on what you think I should do coilover wise motor wise everything there's going to be so much to come on the pink project Pepto Integra so that's going to be it for the man I cannot wait to start working on that car and also if you ordered parts those are going to be on the way real soon I'll text you or message you and kind of update you on that so man that's going to be it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff you know that it is YouTube I'm out hey.